Hello and welcome to Draco Blast, the mid-range deck with a combo. So the deck works around this combo where we play Erratic Explosion, reveal the top card of our deck and deal damage equal to its mana cost. Draco costs 16, so it's 16 right to their face. We can set this up with Insidious Dreams to put two cards on top of our library, which is perfect for the combo, and it can be done at instant speed, which is awesome. The rest of the deck supports this game plan by having a ton of disruption creatures, such as Hypnotic Spectre, and board control elements like Grim Lavamancer. You'll always see these creatures in pretty much every list, but these other ones are also very common too. Blazing Spectre also helps with the discard element, and Master Core helps to control the board. So these creatures, they really do depend on meta. Duress is one of the best cards in the format, and it's excellent here too. It also backs up our other disruption creatures, and when combined together, we can really start to pick apart our opponent's hands. For value, we have Phyrexian Arena. We can draw so many cards off this, and it's absolutely excellent when played on turn one with this card, Dark Ritual, which is of course a staple in almost all black decks. It can also help us to play a Spectre on turn one. For removal, pretty much all decks play Lightning Bolt, but surprisingly they don't all play Terminate in the main. I personally like it, but it's up to your meta. And these two are also supported by our creatures, such as Grim Lavamancer and Master Core. So really, we're not lacking. We play all the lands you'd expect in a red-black deck, fetch lands, pain lands, basics. We're also playing Mishra's Factory, it goes great into what our deck is trying to do, and can help us chip in some extra damage or as a blocker. We've also got Volrath Stronghold, it can put a Draco back on top of our deck, it can also help us to recur our disruption creatures or anything else. Now, Tainted Peak is a card that people play, I personally hate the Tainted Lands because they always come back to bite you, but it is an option that you have. For the sideboard, we've got so many options, but basically you want something for artifacts, something for blue, Dystopia for green and white, and then Phyrexian Negator for control and Engineered Plague for elves and goblins and other such things. When playing the deck, we're not just trying to go for our combo as quick as possible in most matchups. We're trying to maneuver our way into the perfect position where we can just hit them out of nowhere with our combo. Of course, in some matchups, we are trying to combo them out as fast as we can, but that's not always the case. Usually we're trying to use these to control the board, control our opponent's hand, and just work our way into the perfect position to do so. The combo is like the added extra bit on top. We don't need it to win, but we can use it when we need it. First aggro decks that play off the top, like Sly, are absolutely horrendous matchups. Uh, a very fast Phyrexian Dreadnought, especially in game one, if we're not playing Terminate, can end us pretty quickly. And Counterspell on Insidious Dreams is horrible because we still have to discard the cards. Also, being a red-black deck, we don't really have any ways to take out enchantments, so we have to hope to discard them. We're just going for classic mid-range stuff here. Against aggro, we're trying to control the board until we can hit them with a combo finish or our bigger creatures can take over. Against control, we're trying to disrupt their hand to give us the win or hit them with a combo when their guard's down. The strengths, it's powerful. It's got tools against most matchups. The budget versions are still very good, and sometimes people really are not prepared for Erratic Explosion Draco. The weaknesses are it's really not good against Sly or decks that don't really care about discard. Counter Magic on Insidious Dreams, as I said before, is horrible, and we just can't really deal with enchantments. Once they're in play, they're in play. So here's an example list, but I really do recommend you check out TC decks as always. There's tons of great lists on there. These do take me a while to make, so if you like them, please subscribe and thank you for watching.